want to say good morning. Good morning to all the folks at Nats Home Furnishings up there in uh, uh, Warrens. You know, you, you're going as if you're going to, uh, you know, H&B Hardware uh, or, you know, Williams Equipment. And then you'll see Nats over there on the left-hand side. There's parking there too as well. Reserve parking mm. for you and for me. Yeah, at least I assume so. Because it says Nats Home Furnishings, uh, you know, Nats Parking. So I figured that's me. <laughs> <Yes. I'm not laughs> so I, pu I pull up, you know, maybe it's not, for, maybe it's for Natalie, I don't know. <laughs> or Annalise. <laughs> Annalise, good morning to you and to the team. Uh, Erica, Maria, and Anne, the ladies at Nats Home Furnishings. Good morning to you all. Well, you guys are not many guys up there. You know, so many ladies. Erica, Maria. <laughs> Maria and Anne, you know, Annalise and uh, Nats. Uh, I wonder who moves around all the heavy stuff. Yeah, boy. Yeah, you know. Anyhow, they've got some new stock in. So, uh, you know, I, I like going in there and just browsing around. There's so many unusual items to the home. All right, let me get to not necessarily the news now. She's 45 years old. And, boy, I tell you, hell hath no fury like a woman's corn, they say. Mm. Crispin, you believe that? Yeah, I believe you, it. You've had that experience? <laughs> No, no, but I've heard about oh, it. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. So this lady, who's 45 years old, her name is Janice Smith. She's been arrested by officers at the Detroit Police Department, get this, for allegedly, on numerous occasions, capturing squirrels and training them to attack her former lover. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, dear. The victim, who's 51 years old, James Robinson, was presumably attacked by the rodents on more than a dozen occasions over the last month. <laughs> uh, you would never think, huh? S uh, squirrels, those little furry creatures, yeah. yeah. These attacks caused him many s very serious injuries, including, get this, the loss of two fingers and one testicle. Oh, mm, yeah. All right, that's serious business. It takes a lot of testicular fortitude uh, to I deal know, with right? this kind of situation. He really dropped the ball. Bitten off by his attackers. <laughs> Drop the ball. Yeah, boy. <laughs> How much she get that done, though? Uh, well, apparently she's a trainer, you see. She's oh. an animal trainer. A former circus animal trainer. Oh, never did he, a trainer. He had no idea why these squirrels kept attacking him until he saw the former girlfriend, an ex-circus animal trainer, cheering the animals during one of the attacks. She was partially hidden behind some bushes. Yeah, sort of like Sean Spicer a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, when, when, he, yeah, when was he, came. The press. <laughs> he says, but I could clearly see her and hear her. She was yelling orders at the squirrels and telling them to attack me. I thought you could only do that with the dogs. Yeah, that's you know? amazing. Realizing his life could be in danger, Mr. Robinson filed a complaint to the police who paid a visit to Miss Smith. In her evidence, they found a dozen cages holding a total of 27 squirrels. They had also found two training dummies with pictures of Mr. Robinson <laughs> taped over their faces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the secret. That's how she did it. Wow. So apparently the, the, the rodents can recognize you, right? Rat attack. Uh -huh. <laughs> Detroit Police Chief James Craig confirmed that Janice Smith has admitted that she was responsible for the attacks and confessed the strange plot. Mrs. Smith con confessed to capturing and training the squirrels to harass an attacker ex-boyfriend. She used to train lions for a circus. He's oh, lucky she didn't send yeah, one of those, boy. yeah? So it was easy for her to make the animals do as she wanted. Uh, she said she hoped to raise an army of up to 50 to 100 animals. Oh my gosh. The 45-year-old woman is now facing a variety of criminal charges linked to harassment and using animals as weapons. Her lawyers have demanded for her to undergo a psychological examination, claiming she was unfit to stand trial. Um, is, loss, well, Does yeah. that mean that any animal is pretty trainable? Apparently. Wow. She could face up to 65 years in prison. For that? Uh, yeah, her lawyer said that her choice of training squirrels instead of dogs or bears suggests she might be suffering from mental problems. I'd say the guy is lucky that she didn't choose dogs or bears. Can you imagine if she trained dogs to do the attacking? Boy. My question is, what happens now to these 27 squirrels? Are they going to be let back out into the wild? Or arrested? Like, the, you um, know? What it was the dog? Put to sleep, you know what I mean? Because, <laughs> you know, what if what if they see somebody who looks like the, like Mr. Robinson? Exactly. <laughs> or yeah. what, if, what if they recognize him again? I don't know. I don't know if I'd buy all this training thing. You know, I lost two fingers and a testicle. I don't even know you could train squirrels. I it, didn't it's even possible, know that. though. No, you think so? Huh? Yeah, I've seen a show right. where Ray saw that. Yeah. Well, I think she's nuts. 
And I think she went for his. In the end, it was a kind of a balls up on her part. But I would have to say she was fingered. Oh dear. And there you have oh, it. Dear. Not necessarily the news. Brought to you by Nats Home Furnishing. <laughs> Nuts? Nuts. Home.